So this weird thing is every day, guys. I think you guys should have told me. You know this whole time I was thinking you guys were just pretending. See, every day we must suffer in this life. Ah, uh ah, -uh, please now. <laughs> headquarters revolution gang if you haven't subscribed yet then make sure that you click the subscribe button below and join the revolution hi to the babies hello to the babies I'm recording this video Sunday the 19th so let me say happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there to all the active and present fathers out there happy Father's Day to my dad who is my favorite dad and one of the best dads and I'm his favorite child and it doesn't matter what my, my siblings can fight but it is what it is it is what it is hi guys I wanted to give you guys a life update because so much has changed so much has happened I'm in a different background as you guys can see um, so first things first your girl your favorite baby girl like listen your bestie hello Benny for the babies I graduated <laughs> So I graduated from university, finally, I got a BA in accounting and I have a minor in management and I graduated, not just small graduation, not just regular graduation, I, listen, oh yeah, are you listening, oh yeah, come, come and open your ears now, open, uh, is it open? I graduated, not cum laude, right, I was aiming for magma, I was really praying for magma cum laude, that's what I wanted, but I didn't even graduate magma cum laude, personally, me, Benita, Benita Danielle, <laughs> I graduated summa cum laude for the babies. That is highest honors, guys. Like, that's literally like the highest. Summa cum laude. And I honestly can't even believe it because when I, when I moved to America to study, one of my biggest concerns was, oh my goodness, am I going to be able to compete with Americans who grew up in the system? And not only did I compete, but I excelled. So I graduated summa cum laude, highest honors. I was also the graduation speaker. So I spoke at graduation on behalf of the entire class of 2022. And I was also the flag bearer. So I led the commencement. I led the entire faculty, staff, and class of 2022 in the commencement. And I had to stand there with the flag looking pretty like, just smile and wave, boys. Smile and wave. I felt like Miss, I don't even know. Was it Miss Essay? Was it Miss Congeniality? Was it Miss, I don't know what to tell you. Was it Miss University? Hi. So I was the flag bearer. I was the graduation speaker. And I also got an award at graduation, which was um, achievement in interdisciplinary studies. And right after graduation, I went on a little solo trip to the Bahamas where I made friends. I had a really good time. Bingy swima, bingy enjoya. And I just want to say my, I will try, I'm not making any promises, but I will try to get the graduation vlog out this upcoming Monday. And then my Bahamas vlog, I right, guys, you'll get it when you get it. Um, but yeah so that's been some of the changes in my life and as you can see new background and that's because i moved to houston i've moved to a new city so before i was living in pennsylvania and now i've moved to texas so new state and mind you i moved to texas like days after that shooting that we read about but okay anyway this is america so I moved to Houston, Texas, and I actually got an internship at one of the big four accounting firms. Now, if you are an accounting person, you know that like one of literally your biggest dreams as an accounting person is to get into one of the big fours. And the big fours are KPMG, Deloitte, uh, Price, Waterhouse, Cooper, Price, PwC, and uh, Ernst & Young, EY. So those are the big four accounting firms, uh, public accounting. And so I got an internship at one of the big four accounting firms and that's why I moved to Houston is because I'm actually working at one of the firms and I'm not gonna talk about which one as yet for reasons that I think make sense. But yeah, so I'm working at one of the big fours. Listen guys, I'm hashtag woman in STEM because accounting is under STEM. So, you know, I'm just out here being a woman in STEM, being a corporate baddie, being a corporate hunt. You get me looking professional. I'm gonna show you guys my work outfits. You get me? I'm out there going to the office, meeting with clients, being an adult, doing my thing, 
making money and so yeah guys that's what's happening and god is so good um i've been working for two weeks now and it's a summer internship so i'm only doing it until end of july or something with moving to houston it's been really hard because i don't know anyone as you guys know i'm south african i moved to america four years ago for university so i have no family here i only have friends and all the friends i have are way pennsylvania where i went so i moved to houston um and i don't know anyone i don't know a single person so it's been kind of hard because i don't have friends i'm indoors all the time i never have anything to do yeah, that's been kind of hard and i'm staying at an airbnb because it's a temporary stay so when i got my internship one of the things i struggled with was where am i going to stay having to figure that out at first i was looking for apartments but then i realized that short-term leases are expensive and also you'll get an apartment but it's not furnished and it doesn't make sense for me to pay to furnish a place that I'm only going to be there for a short term and how am I going to move all my stuff etc etc so the best pop, uh, possible option was either subletting or an Airbnb and subletting I had considered it but honestly I looked and all the, it, I just couldn't find anything and all the options I saw were really ghetto and then when I did find a good option I had to put in an application and they were giving me trouble so I ended up um, getting an Airbnb instead and I really loved it like my place is gorgeous like look at how gorgeous this is um, um, and I live with the host and I live with another person and it's really nice so I see the host here and there and we talk and stuff she's a really lovely lady the house I live in is four stories upstairs there's a beautiful view um, of the city I'm like six minutes away from work literally a six minute drive away from work and I for now I'm taking uber to work because my company's paying for it but there will be a time where my company doesn't pay for it and then I'm gonna take the bus um, and there's a bus stop like right outside my house but it's four stories big and the top is like this rooftop the third floor is my room middle is the kitchen and the first floor is like the garage and another room and that's where the other person is as well I'm not going to show you guys videos because it's not my house it's someone else's house and I can't show you someone's house right and I'm only here temporarily so I can't do that I'm really sorry guys but it's amazing so with the person living downstairs and me upstairs and then the host not around that much although she's around but if, sometimes it feels like I live alone. I do have privacy, it's really nice. Um, so that's really great. What I will say is that Houston is hot, hot. You guys, hi man, let's say I'm in Limpopo, hey. Hi, I think I'm in Shihoko. I think I'm in Polokwani here. I think I'm in Guiani, guys. No man, hey, this heat, this heat, it's humid. It's Durban humid, mate, and it's hot. It's Limpopo, hot, it is hot. What? I put on sunscreen every single day and when I went to Bahamas I got sunburned and I'm still recovering from that so it's super hot and with me being on the third floor let me tell you something hot air rises guys like hot air it rises and that's hard so yeah that's a bit about where I'm staying my apartment how I found a place to stay um, and yeah like I said work's been really well um, I'm adjusting it's really hard because as an intern you go there and you're like I literally don't know anything I went in there like I don't know how to do accounting like yeah I graduated summa cum laude but like um, I don't know assets equals to liabilities but stock all this equity that's that's all I know so um, but the good thing is that they always tell you that they don't expect you to know anything and they teach you and stuff and I'm really learning a lot so much that I didn't even know um, so that's really great and then what else one of the things that I face and this vlog you guys will see eventually so I know my my thoughts aren't that ordered and I'm just talking to you guys but not everything has to be like ah, uh -uh, you know but one of the things that I experienced was I didn't have work clothes so when I got my internship I was like oh my days like, I'm gonna have to be going into the office and I do not have work clothes so my friend Jacqueline shout out to Jacqueline you guys will see her in my vlogs as I post more of my vlogs she literally took me shopping and um, I'll post this vlog whenever I don't know when but I'll post the vlog she took me shopping for work clothes and guys I literally spent almost a thousand dollars on a whole new wardrobe shoes blouses uh, suits dresses everything it was actually intense but it helped me a lot because I had no work clothes comment down below if you've ever had that when you were joining the workforce like how, tell me guys where do you have where do you get work clothes from like the the thing that helped me is that I generally dressed like covered up I guess and I guess anything covered up can be considered um, professional and I wear a lot of uh, skirts and I have a lot of like polo necks but I'm in Houston polo necks won't work 
skirts yeah but like sometimes my skirts are like those fashion nova skirts that are like tight at the bottom and it's really hard to walk so i had to go and buy literally work clothes and i and i realized that wow i'm an adult now i'm adulting and i'm when i go shopping for clothes i can't keep buying cute fashion over clothes crop tops and whatever like i'm gonna have to actually buy big people clothing i have to buy blouses and like things that look professional and like you know be dressing like you know not somebody's auntie but somebody's auntie ah uh -uh, you get me but joining the workforce has been so interesting so weird i mean i've been working throughout my college career and even when i was in SA, i was working but it's so different now when you're older and your role in the world is different because you have to adapt in your mind and understand that i'm not a child here i'm an adult you know i'm a co-worker one of the things i struggled with was my instinct was to call people mr this and miss that and 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 sis, sister this or auntie and stuff and i think it was an essay like in some places you call um, your employer like mama or ma especially in like African type places it depends on where you are like you'll call them ma miss ma'am and stuff it's it's rare that you'll call them by name but um so yeah like for me I had to understand that these are my colleagues we're co-workers you know so your name is Jamie and I'm gonna call you Jamie you know I, I, I'm not a child where I have to say uncle this and and, 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 and auntie this you know they're co-workers right we're peers so I had to adapt to that um, and treat myself like I belong there you know treat myself like I'm one of the adults in the room and I deserve to be here I'm a professional just like they are I'm just early in my career and another thing of why you it was not easy to call people mr. miss and stuff is because people have pronouns so if I see like a female name and I, oh, I know it's a female do I say miss missus or what because how do I know that's what how do I know what her pronouns are how do I know how she identifies what if she's not you know female identifying and then I miss um call represent someone so that's what makes it difficult as well so like i had to pick up and understand that you call people by their names essentially it was in school where i still call people some people deem this and deem that and whatever but yeah like the older you get and when you join the workforce there's no more like this weird dynamic unless of course you're dealing with like partners who maybe want to be called mr this or mr that um, so that's something I had to adapt to and I must say that's um, something that I like about the workplace is how it's kind of become less strict because I know in some places the whole mist of this and mist that is very important but I like the new workplace that I've gotten to experience and that I've seen and another part of that is even working remotely and stuff where like I don't work from the office every day so some days I work from home um, and I, I do audits I'm an auditor so I work from the client side um, but I'm not at the client side every day again some days I work from home some days I work at the client side so it's interesting because like I work for a specific company the accounting firm but I'm not even at the office all that often or I go whenever I go so that's interesting and I really like the dynamic workplace where there's this flexibility in where you work and I don't know if it's flexibility in your hours sort of yes but like so you have to do a minimum of 40 hours you have to do a minimum of 40 hours so if you decide I'm gonna start work late understand that you have to in your schedule somewhere it's flexibility because as long as you make it up somewhere and make your 40 minimum you're fine but you have to do 40 hours of work a week so there's that flexibility I guess um, but yeah you, you you're bound to like a certain amount of hours but another thing that I like with this workplace is wow guys you know when we we're going through training and they were answering questions some of the questions people were asking was hey do we have to wear suits every day and they were like no like you can wear a jean and professional shoes and a professional top but like you can wear jeans and you know before like jeans in the workplace was a thing that you only do on fridays right you go to work you have to be dripped down in a suit and a tie and a shirt and stuff like that so that's not really there it's 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 more uh, loose people don't have to hide their tattoos they don't have to take away their piercings they don't have to you know what I mean I haven't seen people with colored hair though you know because it's still accounting and like I guess how you look there's levels to it but maybe there is and I haven't seen them but um yeah so I really like that way it wasn't this pressure to put on suits and be this person like you can wear your jeans a good pair of shoes and a top and I think that's really really nice because is it every day that we have to wear suits in this life uh -uh. Please now, especially if I look decent. Uh-uh, come on. Um, so I really like that. Another thing that I want to talk about in terms of work is, is it every day? 
Is it every day that we must kill ourselves? Is it every day that we must do this thing? Huh, guys? No, I think we as a people must come together and say, you know what? Maybe Fridays we don't work. Uh, maybe Monday to Thursday. Is it every day that we must? So this work thing is every day, guys. I think you guys should have told me. You know, this whole time I was thinking you guys were just pretending. I thought you were just pretending. I think you're going to this thing every day. You're going to this thing every day. No, she wasn't ready. The last time I had a job where I worked Monday to Friday or even Monday to Saturday was when I was working in SA before I moved to America because after I graduated uni, I was working before I moved to America. And that was like Monday to Friday, sometimes Saturday and stuff. But ever since then, the jobs that I've been doing have been part-time, have been work from home, have been remote and stuff. So I haven't had that thing. So now being back in a place where it's like, ah, Monday to Friday, strict hours or certain hours, it's like, ah, so then this work thing is every day, guys. Somebody should have warned me. Is it every day but suffer in this life? Ah, ah, please no. She wasn't ready. Yo, guys, it's nice to be young, gifted, and black. It's young to be young, gifted, black, blessed, anointed, loved, protected by the Holy Spirit, by the Holy Ghost, by God. Um, and I must say, I'm really happy to be going through this journey of mine single, you know, I'm in a relationship. And I'm really happy about it because I get to focus my time and attention on me. You know, I'm not considering like, when I'm making decisions about what city to move to and stuff, I don't have to consider someone else because I'm single and I don't have to think about a relationship. So I'm really grateful for that. And also, cause like I get to move to a new city and meet new people like, you know, I can meet someone here. <laughs> you know, I can go on a date here. I can, you know what I mean? And also, let me tell you, the Texas men are beautiful. They are so beautiful. It's like a beard is minimum requirement and I like it. I like it a lot. It's like, it's these beautiful bearded black men, ne? Who are just so gorgeous. Like, wow. So, but yeah, you know, it's nice because I have the opportunity to meet new people as I'm in a new space and stuff like that, navigate the, da the dating space. Which, I don't know how that's gonna happen because I never leave my house and uh, yeah, I don't know how that's gonna happen. I don't know. I don't know if God is gonna send a man knocking on my door. I don't know how it's gonna happen. So, you guys tell me how you meet new people and tell me how you meet friends as well. Comment down below because I don't know how to make friends <laughs> and I would like to have friends. Um, but yeah, so that is really nice. And I'm also glad I don't have a child, guys. In this life, hey, I'm glad I don't have a child right now. No disrespect to those who have a child, because our journey is different, you know? Like, my journey of life is not the better one. It's not the, it's not anything, uh, it's mine. If anything, it's mine. And we all have different journeys. Like, I have friends who are mothers and wives right now, and they love it. They couldn't be happier, you know? Um, and, and, and good for them, you know? Not me, but yeah. Happy for you. Maybe somebody else. I am not the one. <laughs> I'm really glad I don't have a child. Also because as I'm navigating adulthood and finances and work, I'm glad I don't have to stretch myself and stretch my finances to um, cater to my child who has needs. And um, again, moving around is a little bit complicated when you have a child. You have someone to consider. Are you going to have support? You have money for daycare and stuff like that. So again, it just makes things so much easier easier for me and uh, no child from against me will prosper it's not my destiny for now it's not my destiny till i'm married i'm just yeah anyway don't want to go too much into that what i'm saying is i'm happy to be single and not a mom um because i think it, it's just it, it's what i needed for this time and i think god is really good so yeah. anyway guys so that's pretty much my life update i'm going to make another video where i detail to you guys what i've experienced in the workplace what i've struggled with what's been nice what hasn't but that's going to be in another video coming up very soon so look out for it but until then that's it for today guys i hope you like this video don't forget to comment like share and subscribe and i'll be back with more videos peace and love guys bye <laughs>